Check a pro Joe here on the Chuck a pro radio show. This question comes up a lot when it's hot or cold. How does it affect my home specifically today? I want to talk to Adam Greer from easy lift garage doors and more. He is an expert in the garage door arena. Adam, how are you? I'm doing great, Jim. How are you doing? I am living the dream. Thank you so much for asking. So in the greater Houston area, we can get some cold weather, certainly a lot cooler than the summertime where it's on average 90s, sometimes 100. In the winter, it can get down below freezing. Are there any concerns about our garage door operation in cold weather? Concerns? I don't know if I'd call it a concern, but it is a great question because there are things that should be avoided and things that should be done. Um, so the first thing is, does cold affect the door? Mm. If the door is lubricated correctly, if the door is installed correctly, then the answer is no. Uh, but if you get into someone's house where they put axle grease all over the thing, which we see so much, the rollers in the track are smeared and the spring is smeared, well, that stuff gets stiffer in the cold weather and it gets looser, obviously, in the hot weather. So the door function becomes affected. Does it necessarily damage the door no but at the same time if it's real super stiff and the opener is trying to close it could damage the door by folding it or things like that so does cold weather automatically affect the door not if everything's right but that's the point you want a door should be serviced at minimum once a year twice a year is what they recommended but at least once a year you should have someone out to do a full inspection, full maintenance, and use the right material, right lubricant, the right rollers. Um, the cheaper the product, then the more this stuff really matters. Because you get a good sturdy, you know, decent door, then it can probably work through some of these problems. But if you have a contractor grade and it's all gooped up, that's going to be a problem. Now, the flip is, the, the, what does the heat do? It's kind of the same thing. Doors installed correctly, maintained correctly, shouldn't affect it. Uh, but you do have shrinking and swelling of wood. So your openings could be shrinking and swelling on both seasons and that could affect the door, put some bind on. But if a door is correctly installed, even that should not be a problem. Um, so it, it just comes down to correct product, professional product, correct installation and maintenance. If you take care of all that, uh, and we come into some new homes where it, the, we just rehang it. And that's, it's worth it for the customer. So you know what? We really need to just kind of pull this thing apart and put it together correctly for you if you want this door to last. And that's brand new. You know, they're one year in. You just, you just wonder how it's worked all that time. So, um, I hope that answers the question. Yeah. In theory, shouldn't have any bearing. Left. But in practicality, it, it's how is it maintained? The moral of the story, everybody, is to get your garage door inspected and maintained once to twice a year. And do not put axle grease, WD-40, or anything that is not supposed to be put on the equipment of your garage door, including the spring, the rollers, the hinges, and so forth. And there is a specific type of product that adam and his team have but also i've noticed that some retailers even now have that option if need be yeah yeah and there's things out there that promote themselves as garage door lubricant Mm -hmm. what you want is something that's non-silicon non-sticky we have so much coming in and out that door grass shavings and you know people are sawing in their garage you don't want anything that's lubricating the door that is sticky because mm. all of that crap is clogging up the bearings, clogging up the function. Uh, rollers have to be able to move. That's critical. And so you clog them up, you're going to create problems. Yeah. Adam, as always, thank you so much for being the expert here on the Checker Pro Radio Show. I appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Always. Thanks.